Usually I just have my coffee here at home, but today I'm gonna take you out for coffee. Good and you? Oh, fabulous. Were you expecting me with a camera like that? No, not at all. <laughs> you know, I woke up today and I was like, I think I'm gonna make him famous today. Oh yeah? I like your style. Thank you, man. Smile, I'll make you famous. It's a very good bagel. actually perform right here three times a week back at the studio here is my pedal board and I'm gonna show you right now what I got my looper pedal is the RC30 it's a very well built pedal actually I used to own the jam man by Digitech and I had like three pedals every six months they would break so then I bought this one I have never had an issue and I've had it for like two years now right next to it I have the AB switch for my microphone it's called the selector XL by whirlwind the signal from a microphone I can send it to my looper when I'm looping my guitar and I can I want to loop my voice too. If I want to send the signal directly to my mixer, then I just click this selector and it will reroute the signal from my microphone directly to the board so I can keep singing as I'm looping the guitar and it will not loop my voice. This baby here, the Roland GR20. It's a synthesizer for guitar. I don't know if you knew this, but there's a brand called Godan, and it's one of the companies that make guitars that have a regular connector, and they also have what it's called the 13 pin connector. So you can communicate to the synthesizer. I can actually play a saxophone or an accordion, anything. I have another AB switch, because sometimes I bring a ukulele or a bass guitar. I'm able to plug it in right there and just uh, switch between like guitar and ukulele. Then right next to it, I have the body res. It changes the tone of the guitar from pickup sound. You know, when you plug in a guitar, it sounds a little too electric, plasticky, I don't know, it's hard to describe. Some people like that. With this thing, it will sound like you are at a recording studio and, and you have a mic close to your guitar and it just makes the tone sound so good. Here I have a Bluetooth receiver, so that way when I'm at a gig and I wanna play the music from my phone or from my tablet, I can just press play, reverb pedal. I play a lot of Spanish guitar. Reverb is, for me, is like necessary. Oh yeah, and I found this in Amazon, I forget what it's called. And the knobs can be difficult to control, but thanks to this, I can easily reach with my foot like this and move it easier. I keep it in charge. For the most part, I keep it here for rhythm, but I bring it higher for when I'm doing a solo. This is my vocal performer, VE20, to um, provide a little reverb to my voice. If I don't want reverb at all, I just turn it off. It has effects. I use the double voice a lot. Two of me singing. Preset 17 is a third harmony. The downside is that you have to click here to select the key you're doing the song. And that's it. If you got the time, I'll give you a quick demo.
vida que da esperanza sin las quita Porque te puso en mi camino y después te desprendió Estas manos que están cansadas de esperarte Mis ojos buscan sin hallarte De nada sirve la razón Sin mi razón de vivir Era tenerte junto a mí se vuelve absurda mi canción Pues me quedé sin ilusión That's a good example of what I do at my live shows. Thank you for officially becoming an Andres Colin fan. Thank you for watching. Yes! Isn't that fun? Lens cleaning kit, 64 gigabytes. Lens shape, 16 to 35 millimeters, 2.8. It's actually heavier than I thought. Let's put this lens on. 50 millimeter Canon 6D Mark II and a backpack. <laughs> this backpack is perfect, but for Aria. Perfect. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, yeah. Take this. Uh, you help me.